This is Toto. He's a miniature schnauzer. And when I first started grooming, I used to think I was really, really good at schnauzer patterns, but I'm not. And really, it's because a lot of schnauzers don't really get schnauzer patterns, so I don't get as much practice. But one thing that I do to make sure that I do a good job or a proper job is I set my pattern a lot higher than it needs to be so that I have a lot of wiggle room to blend off and make it look as natural as possible. The skirt on a schnauzer is not really a skirt, it's more of like a fringe. And you can, if you look closely, and I don't know if you can see, but if you look closely, you can kind of see like where the hair starts, how it's kind of at an angle. And then I have to go in and kind of take a little bit off here, a little bit off here, because I have to try and make it an angle to where his back leg connects to his body. And it's supposed to start right underneath the elbow. And sometimes it's really difficult for me. And there's this little trick you can do is you put three fingers above the elbow and then use your arm as kind of a guide to the angle. But it takes a lot of practice and there's just not a lot of schnauzers who keep a full coat for practice. So I'm always thankful for schnauzers who get a pattern because it really gives me the opportunity to practice how many times am I going to say practice? I have to tell you a story about this lady. Oh my gosh, total Karen. She had a giant schnauzer, which giant schnauzers are huge. Large dogs take a lot of time because if you think about it, it's a lot of surface area that you have to cover. Anyway, so I did this giant schnauzer, set into the pattern, and I thought everything was fine. She was happy when she left. And then she called the next day and she said, you know, I was working in my garden. <laughs> Sorry, I, can't. I was working in my garden and Tugboat ran by me. I don't know. His name wasn't Tugboat. I just thought that was cute. Anyway, what am I doing? It's too late. I need to go to bed. He ran past me and then ran the other way. And I just noticed that one side was so much higher than the other. Look, your dog's running through the garden. You brought your giant schnauzer to PetSmart for a breed standard cut. You didn't ask me any questions about how long I'd been working there. Your dog is like X amount of years old. So what was wrong with your other groomers? Really? Like, really? So, okay, sure. Bring your dog in. We'll fix it for you, of course. I mean, if it was like really, really off, you know, but anyway, I, I don't think it was that much off and we ended up doing something. Sometimes people will bring their dogs in and we'll literally just like, okay, we'll take care of that for you. And we don't actually do anything. And they're like, oh, that's fine. That makes me think of another story. And hopefully this person doesn't watch my YouTube because she seems like the kind of person who might. Anyway, I used to groom this dog and I love doing her haircut, but every single time mom would come and pick her up, I would have to fix something. Either, do you think the tail's short enough? Do you think the ears could be a little shorter? Do you think this? Do you think that? The first few times, that's okay. And anytime you see anything, please tell us if you want something fixed, if you want something adjusted. But this was every single visit. And I was like, all right, this lady just has to complain about something. There's got to be something. So what I started doing was I would purposely like not trim the tail or I'd purposely like leave a long hair, like an obvious long hair. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, let me just get that for you. But like, ridiculous. I stopped watching the video for, I, he got a hair in his mouth. Toto, I said, do you have a hair in your mouth? Let me see. He had some tangles in his pattern that I was brushing out and I grabbed my clippers because the one that was in his foot, I could tell that was not going to be easy to brush out. So I shave it out and easy peasy. One thing that I love about mobile and like being on my own is that I don't have to use the grooming loop. I use it every once in a while, just like if I need to walk away or something like that, it's important that I know the dog's not going to jump off the table, but it's definitely nice to have the freedom and the dog to have the freedom to be able to lay down or sit or do whatever they want to do. So sometimes I like to use the camera to see if I miss anything. So he says, I'm flashing. Oh, Oh, I think I did that actually not to flash you, but to show you that he gets a shelled out belly, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. If you have a schnauzer and you, like if they get matted really easily, you could ask your groomer to shell the belly, which is basically you just shave like the whole entire belly and it makes it so there's less of his fringe that you have to brush. So that way it doesn't get matted as easily and you still keep the schnauzer look. 
So I am standing them up. We call this the teddy bear, teddy bear sanitary. And it's actually something that you don't want to do as a new groomer because there's a lot of, oop, he says, he says, there, that was one of my sensitive areas. Please just be more careful under there. That's my jiggly bitch. When they're standing up, there's a lot more areas that kind of are susceptible to being cut. Um, the armpit has one, like this little skin flap. And it's really just not the safest thing to do if you're not familiar with your clippers. And it's always best to do it like where you lift the leg, especially if you're just starting out. He says, I forgive you. Um, can you please just hurry up and finish already? Because I, I'm ready to, what What are you doing with that? What? It, what is that? Why are you doing that to my body? I didn't finish recording his haircut, but I, I trim his feet and I probably lowered his skirt a little bit. And it's really important to make sure everything is brushed out of the legs and any hair that you're leaving before you scissor. He says, look how handsome I look. I, 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 I'm a little businessman. And look at my little nubby tail. It's so cute. Um, okay, can I go back in my house now? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.